Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you news from Tokyo Game Show 2015, where we get to learn about all the upcoming Japanese games we all love. All Japanese games suck. Hey, Phil Fish, this is not for you, so shut the fuck up. Let's go ahead and talk about Neo. Yes, after 10 years of development, the game is finally revealed. And yes, Neo is going to be done by Team Ninja, the folks behind the Ninja Gaiden series and the Dead or Alive series. And boy oh boy, Neo looks fucking handsome. Yeah, those uh those Dead or Alive 5 last round DLC costumes are really fucking paying off. That's a good thing. Because um uh, there is hope for this title. That's right, my amigos. And Neo, you get to travel around Sengoku era Japan as a motherfucking samurai doing samurai things. But here is the catch. The game is an action role-playing game, and yes, you have to fight Japanese demons. That's right, my amigos. Oh yeah, I may have uh, mentioned or uh, forgot to mention, but uh, Evan, I say that the uh, Dead or Alive 5 last round DLC costumes are going to pay off because of the game looking pretty much sexy. Oh yeah, and also it's going to be coming out for the PlayStation 4 in 2016, and yes, it's going to run at 60 frames per second, my homies. Now what I think of Neo, Neo looks pretty damn well impressive. I I'm really highly anticipating this, um, it's a pretty awesome thing, and what I kind of think about Neo is, hey, all these DLC costumes, they're paying off pretty damn well. They're paying off well. Um, it's fantastic to see that a game that's been under, in development for things. Yes, this has been in development for 10 years. As a matter of fact, uh, Team Ninja went on and admitted this was supposed to be a PlayStation 3 title, but um, it was facing numerous delays and numerous delays. And it's pretty much surprising how a developer would take a project and then evolve it with the times that's that's the that's the crazy thing of Neo. That's the thing that got me, is is the design, and however the gameplay aesthetic. I oh my goodness, I said that word aesthetic. My apologies, but anyway, this in a gameplay aspect, yes, the game looks gorgeous, but the game it, it's gonna play like in depth. It looks like it's gonna play in depth. As soon as I grab that controller, it's gonna feel different. It's gonna play different to Ninja Gaiden. It's gonna play different to Tokiden. It's gonna play different. Um, like I said, it's gonna play different. Now enough with me beating around the bush. Um, is Neo gonna come out as a good game? It's been in work for 10 years and it's faced a lot of evolution um, for its time. And let's be honest here, uh, Neo is gonna do well. And a lot of you people are gonna be like, oh what about Ninja Gaiden 3? We can forget about Ninja Gaiden 3. Okay, let's forget about Ninja Gaiden 3. Ninja Gaiden 3 was a bad egg. And, um, Dead or Alive 5 made up for it. Okay, this is why, which pretty much explains why Dead or Alive 5 gets all these additions like Ultimate and Last Round. Because the reason why Dead or Alive 5 got Ultimate and Last Round was is that Dead or Alive 5 served as a purpose to basically make up for Ninja Gaiden 3, and Ninja Gaiden 3 uh, fucked Team Ninja over with some pretty much uh, fucking fan flack, and it was just, it was not very pleasant. I know you guys want the short version of what I think. I want it so bad. <laughs> Being a hardcore uh, Team Ninja fan, I want it so bad. Anyway, that's all. See you in the next vid.